animal cruelty charges. The dog's owner says her pet was returned to her with serious injuries. With more on the story and what to look for if you're hiring a trainer, here's Anthony Robart. <laughs> Take a look at this face and then try to imagine someone harming this little dog. On every pad, on every paw, it was scraped this way and then all up the back of here and here were all bloody and scraped and all of her toenails were sheared off. They had initially asked if she had perhaps been dragged by a car. Shannon Stevenson and her family never imagined for a moment they would be risking their dog's life when they left Lucy with a dog trainer. She said Lucy had fallen under the pack of dogs when they were rollerblading and she was suffering from heat exhaustion. After taking Lucy to the vet, the OSPCA was called. Animal cruelty charges were then laid against dog trainer Samantha Brown. That was back in June. Here she is in this video promoting herself as a reputable dog trainer. Rehabilitation is just helping people to understand. Brown was just recently convicted and fined $2,000 for causing an animal to be in distress. If they seem knowledgeable, and you're, you're obviously going to them because you're not as knowledgeable, so if they seem like it, it would be easy. That was how we fell into it. Lucy, now four years old, is doing much better. Her physical injuries have healed, but she may never be completely healed from this traumatic experience. But sadly, animal cruelty cases are all too common in this province. The OSPCA investigates roughly 17,000 cases each year. And when it comes to choosing a dog trainer, the OSPCA says owners must do their research. You want to look for somebody with positive reinforcement techniques, not anything that gives you any sort of concern that's going to be a fear tactic, talk to your neighbors, friends, veterinarians, they usually have a really good resource of um, people that they can recommend. But unlike certain professions, dog trainers aren't required to be registered. But theoretically, anyone can call themselves a dog Absolutely. trainer. Absolutely, yeah. How do you feel about that? Um, it's a little bit scary. As for Samantha Brown, she is still allowed to keep her business going. The Stevensons, meanwhile, say they have learned their lesson. Lucy won't be going too far out of their sight from now on. Anthony Robart, Global News. And despite another dog attack by a coyote in the GTA, the province